Hello all, Jamerican here, and I have a question to pose to you all. Do you know what operating system this is? No, think long and hard about it. And... Did you say Vista? Well, actually, it's not. And I'll approve this to you by going here. As you can see, it's Windows XP Media Center Edition. Now you may be wondering, how did I get my operating system to look like Vista? And how did I get it to uh, include the sidebar? Because this is the actual sidebar from um, Windows Vista. Well, I'll post all those links in the description. Uh, but I just want to show you uh, all these things functional under XP. Now the only thing that I couldn't get over was the volume mixer which I think is a really great feature of Vista but it's not uh, it's like the only feature that I would use in Vista compared to my uh, modified or Vistified XP as I like to call it. Uh, so, um, so what are some of the features that I've uh, taken I guess from Vista? Well just the uh, this uh, very nice looking sleek um, taskbar down here. Uh, what else? Um, basically, you can see here this XP style still because there's no uh, programs that would view usually in this area. But still, I really like in general just using XP over Vista because of the memory, how much memory it saves over Vista. Like usually my processor would be around the same area but my memory would be like in the 50s for the same kind of uh, operations that I'm doing right now and most games required 256 to 512 megabytes of more memory uh, to that of XP for Vista so um, I'm sticking with XP just because it's more efficient I'll show you a few things uh, I've already shown you the, the gadgets here, which are the actual gadgets because you, you can actually um, view the different gadgets, take them out, put them back in. You can add the gadgets as I showed you before. There's a media center gadget, I mean a media player gadget, excuse me, and there's even a Wikipedia gadget. Type in uh, Vista. Mozilla Firefox. Now, as you just saw, I have another tweak or modification on this computer and it actually allows me to switch my desktop. There's Vista for you. Um, and that's that. And this feature is called Yodem 3D. Yet another desktop manager 3D. And I'll put a link for that as well. And basically what it does is it allows you to switch across your desktop two different desktops so you get four different desktops and you can manage all your what do you call it you manage all your work on these different desktops so I can be um, let's see what can I be doing right now I could write this here again is another feature this is just Google's uh, search option that's another reason why I went back to XP is because Vista search is terrible because I can just search up an application so let's say office word and you see it's already popped up put enter and I have my application um, so I could be typing something here vistified XP is way better than actual Vista you know I could write yeah thesis here on why XP is better than Vista and come over watch a clip of Rocco's Modern Life if I wanted to I mean these are simplistic applications but you can easily uh, you can easily I guess you make it more useful for yourself like if you actually were to let's say write a paper you can just deal with it in this region if you were going to edit a video, you can deal with it in this region. If you're going to uh, do something else, you can put it in this new region. Or if you were going to go to a website, you can just deal with it all over here. I'm actually saying a, a laptop was signed. Check that out if you can. It's called uh, 
you can just put wireless laptop in on uh, on eBay and you'll see it all right and uh, I mean it and it's very quick you can look at my processor too I mean my processor is getting kind of high there but I mean overall it's is decent I mean look at the speed uh, the video may slow this down a little bit but I try my best to at least make you see it or be able to see it and you can also like use your keys to kind of zoom in and out so like if you use the up and down keys you can actually zoom in and out of the uh, the desktop so that's that um, another thing I like is this new gadget called uh, Xbox Friends Watch created by a Microsoft employee using Silverlight uh, but essentially what it does is it tells you if your friends are online or not and it also shows you their most five recent games played and their gamer scores and you can click on that and you can uh, it opens up it's an Explorer 7 by default of course um, and you can see like you know different achievements that the person has gotten compared to your achievements or etc um, I generically chose Major Nelson and Trixie because I didn't want to really advertise my friends gamer tags so um, and there's another one over here these are all another one but I don't again I don't want to show my gamer tags so uh, I've already shown mine so I guess I can show it I mean that's that there too where you can click on it and see you know their most five recent games and the specs but that one isn't as great as this one but this one does lag out and glitch out so that one's a good backup alright so overall though you can see my system specs you can see you know during this video what my memory's been like and overall it's a very smooth experience I think that if anyone really wants, oh, actually, I almost forgot one thing. It's Media Center Edition, right? So I should show you. I should actually show you Media Center. And let me turn on the volume a little bit here. Actually, I will show you some. There's my processor going up. I'll show you recorded TV. His episode of Heroes from Monday. Now, I don't know if you can see this here, but I'm thinking it's because of the fact that I'm using, I'm viewing this video right here. So if I were to put this down and then play it. Oh, it's still the same. Well, there it goes. It's a little better. It's just the black regions that are fuzzing out a little bit. But I can mute it also and show its uh, closed captioning. Uh, and it will start soon. There it goes. Don't make me do this. You know. It's the reason I went to Vista. Well, I mean, this my history was I went from XP Pro to Ubuntu Linux because my XP started messing up on me and I was I really liked Ubuntu for its barrel compass feature this whole thing here like it's very similar to barrel compass um, barrel compass is way more fluid and you can actually see the video still moving when you do this um, but I'm not you know that's semantics for me um, and then when I went from that I went to Vista and I really learned about the media center um, experience and being that I, I really liked it so much I said well I'm gonna try it out in XP media center edition and I've come to really like XP media center edition so you know, if you really really want to consider Vista just because of its look or its media center or its sidebar I mean you get all these things in XP Media Center Edition just with the right uh, software so with that um, check out my uh, check out over in this region over here on the right side um, for the description and you'll see all the links and whatnot. All right. So
So uh, I guess I'll speak to you guys later. Mr. American, signing out.